Mabuhay! Welcome once again to Inside IMK. To be here again and today we're gonna tackle angles of attack. Okay, so let's define first what angles of attack mean. Angles of attack in Caledon are basically the areas of the body in which we do our basic strikes. With Cali de Leon, we try to simplify most of what we do. And with this one, um, Guru Jun, our founder, decided to limit it to five and seven strikes. The first is called the Cinco Teros, meaning in itself five strikes, and the second one is Siete Teros, or seven strikes. We, we look at this in such a way that the body is cut in half by angles. A vertical line um, separating the body from the left and the right in a horizontal line separating the body from up and down which is normally found towards the body center line somewhere here in the midsection. Okay, now let's examine further how the strikes would land, say, on an opponent. So I'm going to use David right here as point of reference with my strikes. Okay, so I'm right-handed, I'm using a right-hand stance. Basically, angle or strike number one would be hitting here, the temple, the jawline, or the collarbone. It would be a high strike going diagonally down. Strike number two would be hitting the outside part of the knee, specifically this area or the groin going up. You can say that angle one is the opposite of angle two and vice versa. Angle three is hitting the inside of the lead leg's knee going up here or again hitting the groin going up. And strike number four again hitting the side of the, the face or the temple, the jawline or the collarbone going down. Much like with strikes number one and two, strikes number three and four are the exact opposite. Strike number five again is a stab going up the, mid, going up the center line. And now it can start here, go higher, even ending on the throat or the chin line. Those are basically your single terror strikes. And if you add strikes number six and seven, it would be strike going across the horizontal line of the elbows. Now, those strikes can be translated into different sectors of the body. Like we did that with the entire body, but we can transfer that entire asterisk, the combination of all those strikes into the face. I, just, I would show that better with the knife. Okay, so again, let's put that small asterisk of all the angles of attack on a smaller target now, which is the face. So angle one would be from this side, the temple side going across, slashing across the face. One, two, this line going up. Three, side of the jaw going up to the temple. Four, going down. Five is anywhere the center line of the face, stab going up. And then a strike number six and seven toward the sides. It can go cut across the eye line or the jaw line. So now, there are also two um, types of attacks or two types of strikes. The first one would be the fluid strike and the second one would be the broken strike. How do we differentiate the two? The fluid strike crosses the horizontal line of the body while the broken strike stops at the horizontal line, at the vertical line, and goes back to its direction or can redirect. So let me do the Cinco and Cheteteros first, doing fluid strikes. Strike number one, strike number two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll slow it down to strike the target. One, going across, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. See all of my strikes intersect his body and go across. Now doing it with the broken strikes, 
I simply hit and retract. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And of course, to make it interesting, you can combine the two. So I'm going to strike him flew with one. I'm going to strike and broke him two, hitting the groin. Flew with three, hitting across. Broken number four, suck suck number five. I'm going to bro go broken number six, but flew with number seven. Filipino martial arts was traditionally a blade art, and then somewhere along the history, it transitioned into stick arts. So, the art retaining its uh, older traditions has what we call the saksak or the stabs. Let me show you how. Okay, so again, we're moving with the basic angles of the cinco and the cheteteros. So, basically, for every slash, there is a stab. So instead of slashing strike number one, I would be stabbing angle number one. See, the angle is the same, only now I'm stabbing. When I stab, just like before when I, in the previous episodes, it's normally on a diagonal line so that you will be doing more damage instead of attacking on a single plane. So this is attack number one, stab or saksak, attack. Number two, stab, going up. Attack number three, going up. Attack number four, and attack number five. Okay, combining slashes and stabs are very evident, especially by using the knife. It would go this way. I would stab, angle one, twist, and slash. Stab number two, twist, slash. Stab number three, twist, and slash. Stab number four, slash, twist and slash. Stab number five, and slash down. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the angles of attack that we employ in Cali de Leon. Stay tuned for next episode where we will now tackle the different ranges starting from the lag range. Once again, salamat sa inyong panonood. Mabuhay po kayo.